Hi, today we're going to work some more on the cause and effect essay, and we're going to move from the outline to the first draft. You already have your outline that looks something like this. If you don't have an outline, go back and watch the video about um, brainstorming, outline, and thesis. If you do have your outline, get it out and open a Word document, and we're going to get ready to go. So first of all, what I'm going to do is, this is the first draft, and for the first draft, I'm not going to worry about everything. The main things I want to do is I want to work on the body paragraphs here. Uh, so I'm going to leave most of the introduction for later. So I'm just going to write my thesis statement here. Okay, now that I've got my thesis written down, I'm going to look at my body paragraphs and I'm going to write down the topic sentence is for each body paragraph. Now that I've written down my topic sentences for each body paragraph, I'm going to go back and I'm going to work on actually writing the paragraph. So I'm going to include the supporting sentences with the details and then um, a concluding sentence for each body paragraph that's going to help the reader to move from body paragraph one to body paragraph two. All right, I've finished my first draft of body paragraph one and now I'm going to look at body paragraph two. My topic sentence is, in addition to the content of the class being too easy, another cause could be the teachers. So here, the content of the class being too easy, I'm referring back to my first body paragraph to remind the reader of what I just talked about. And then another cause could be the teachers. This is introducing the topic of the second, um, second paragraph here. So, um, I kind of want to talk about two different things in this paragraph. One might be uh, the teachers, differences in teachers, that teachers are really, really good teachers, and so all the students in the class get a passing grade. Or it could be that the teachers really aren't that good, and maybe they just give everybody a passing grade because um, they aren't very good at it, or else they're maybe lazy and just give everybody a passing grade. So the first one I'm going to be, in addition to the content of class being easy, another cause could be the teachers. First, whoops, I spelled it wrong. The teachers could be master teachers and present all that students easily can understand. In addition, they might spend a lot of time outside of class helping students so that the students can be successful. Now I want to, to flip from the good teachers to the bad teachers, so I'm going to use on the other hand. When we use on the other hand in writing in English, we're talking about a different idea. So on the one hand, you have good teachers, and on the other hand, you have bad teachers or lazy teachers. And the teachers might not be very good at teaching, and this could result in students. For example, the teacher might be lazy and not want to really grade everything that the students turn in. So the teacher might just give everyone a passing grade. Okay, so um, I've got my... Um, my supporting sentences, I've got my details here, and now I'm just going to write a sentence that wraps up body paragraph two. Um, um, so, uh, the teacher can influence whether the students Pass the class or not. Okay, 
And so now I'm going to come down here to and work on my body paragraph number three. Okay, now I have my first draft of my body paragraphs here. When I look at your first drafts, this is what I'm really going to be looking at. I want to see if you have your body paragraphs. I want to see that you have topic sentences in each of them. Uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to highlight them, never mind. I want to see that you have a topic sentence for each of your paragraphs. I want to see that all of the information in that topic sentence or in that paragraph is related to the topic sentence and that it makes sense and that it's organized within there. And then also that you have transitions to help your reader to move from your first body paragraph to your second body paragraph to your third body paragraph. Um, after you've done this, if you have time and you want to go back and work on your introduction paragraph and write it here, that's fine. You can work on that. Make sure you still, it's still very clear where your thesis is, um, which is, needs to be the last sentence in your introductory paragraph. You can also, um, you should also put down here what your ideas are for the conclusion. If you have time, you can work on writing that as a paragraph. If not, um, you can just kind of write your outline uh, like I'm doing here to show that you're thinking of ideas and uh, your summary sentence there. Um, as always, if you have questions about this, please ask me about them. You can send me an email. You can come during office hours as well. Um, but make sure you have your topic sentences. Make sure you have your supporting details in here as you turn in your first draft so that you can get all the points. You don't have to worry about having your introduction and your conclusion totally written out. If you do, that's fine, but if not, that's okay. I'm going to be really looking here at the body paragraphs as well. Also, you don't need to worry necessarily about the format. We'll cover that later on.